And we're back from the Flying Can Ranch at uh, Athens, Texas, or in Athens, Texas, whatever. Uh, earlier I did a uh, Lancer Tactical, and I've got a real thick kind of corrugated cardboard here off to you, my left. Two cans and a pickle bottle. We're going to try to set this camera down here very carefully. Hopefully we can see everything. Yeah. Might have saw this grass sticker. Every other nasty thing that lives out here. I'm gonna have to bring it back just a little bit. There we go. Again, we'll just lean this back, see what we can get with it. Let's go out the front. Oh, the pickle bottle already exploded. <laughs> it was already too hot. We'll see if we can knock it off there anyway. Hmm, that was kind of fun. All right, I'm loaded up. Let me go back here and let's go have some fun. Not too bad out. One thing I did not mention in the tabletop review that is not an automatic safety, so I thought I'd put that in there. All right, let's go have some fun. I just took the bottom right off. The, no, I guess I didn't. All right. Got this guy very, very low, I think. We'll put that back up. Um, I don't know where I hit this one. Let's see if it just targets him for a minute. Looks like it went off the right, so. All right, we'll set this up again. Um... 
If I hit this pickle bottle, I'm not really sure where. But I'm not going to trip on that. Let's just get focused, get some holes or something, and let's rock. Okay, let's see what we got. Shoot a little high on this one. That's all right. I'm gonna set that right there. And uh, these are a little closer together. Move right through this thick cardboard one more time. We'll close it up. All 
Alright, let me set this up here. I didn't mean to knock that can off. Oh yeah, I caught that one a little lower. Alright, let's finish this up. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's wrap this up. I don't know why I had such a problem with that can. Very stiff trigger. I'm to try to pick this up very carefully. This can on the my left, it hit really good. Good and solid. Came out really good on the back. And uh, this one, I was hitting a little higher with it, but got it good. Came out real good on the back. Cardboard. You see those holes I put in there. And, uh, you know, this is pretty thick packing stuff, but you can pretty much see where they came out to the side. So, that, uh, I like that. Now, yeah, that's good and clean. We're about 50 yards out, by the way, doing this. Let's go back, wrap this puppy up. Uh, just now, starting to get a little warm out here. And um, I might put another scope back on this, redial it, and it, it's a little bit more powerful. I just want to show you the actual air gun as it is in the box. So, that wasn't the best, but it hit. And uh, let me flip this around here real quick. And uh, there it is. Lancer Tactical 4x32 scope. If I had to say, by the way, uh, as you all well know, I was 
uses some of these right here, these Barracuda Extreme. You get them very good in Depot Pyramid here. I like them a lot. Um, as I said in the, in the tabletop review, the Tribble travels, the Tribber travels quite a, the Trigger travels quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the trigger travels quite a bit and then it hits and it's a very very stiff trigger and that's usually what's kind of throwing me not as bad as that Noica dragon or whatever I reviewed last week but um, like I said I think I paid like 119 and 699 shipping from eBay to get a hold of this so um, it hits it hits good and solid and uh, aside from the trigger, probably needs a better scope. I really can't bath mouth it a lot for what I gave for it. It's very economical. I mean, if you're first getting into air guns or you're just wanting to play with or maybe a little pest control uh, hunting, uh, as I've said many times, I personally don't hunt anymore, but I think this would, would stop like a rabbit or squirrels and things like that dead in their track. You could probably get a skunk if you got him in the head real good. Not sure you're going to eat it, but get rid of it. And uh, I'm not, I'm really against shooting possum. Possums eat all kinds of insects and things like that. But now you get a raccoon, they'll tear something up quick. By the way, how do you give a raccoon a black eye? Something my girlfriend asked. But there you are. That's the Lancer Tactical. If you look on eBay, I, I meant to write down the guy that was selling these. Um, you can get these in a black stock also, I believe, from, from Lancer itself. Um, but um, it, was, it wasn't a bad deal, you know, for what I gave for it. And you can see what it's doing. It was very budget. And if you want to get into air guns or just want something different in your collection, there you go. That's how we do it at the Flying Can Ranch. Boom. We'll catch you later. Whoops.